They're in the attic. Should we pursue? Ah, <sighs> leave them be. But, sir! Partners got it. We are out. Beginner's <clears throat> luck. More of those things. It's like they're guiding us. Stay close. So cool. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. I'm gonna go later. Hey, how's it going, Yonoku? What's up, Funky Fresh? There. <coughs> Need to stay ahead of him. Excuse me. Prep for Exville. Or not? <sighs> What's back here? Secrets? Close up on my hair? Just as good? I like how we're watching them leave. They gone? Yeah, I think so. What are they? I think... actually... I don't know. Let's just go. I'm down for that. Oh, look at the okay. town. Up for crossing the rooftops? See that pillar over there? There's a station right by it. Shall we mosey on over? Let's. Oh, you can see a little bit of the outside world. I can see it. Just barely over the horizon. Let's mosey. Another, another big line. So, what's next for you? A little bit of bodyguard work. <laughs> right. After that, it's back to the Sector 7 slums. You know how to get there? Yep. Of course you do. I need your help. Okay, that little skip he did was a little goofy. I gotta see that again. suit from earlier. He was one of Shinra's Turks. What's a Turk want with you? Dunno. Hey, don't Turks keep an eye out for potential soldiers and stuff? They do more than just scout for candidates. Turks get called in to handle all kinds of situations, with extreme prejudice. <laughs> Professional bad guys. Gotta love them. Back to my question. So what's he to you? Looked like you knew each other. Maybe he thought I could be the greatest soldier yet. Forget it. <laughs> hmm? You mad? Loving the theme. Careful. Not a lot of room. Gotcha. Thanks. You mad, bro? I don't know if you could ever make Aerith's theme better, but they sure are giving it a run for its money. This version is real good. I 
I actually haven't traveled by rooftop before. Be surprised if you had. It's honestly kind of exciting. Well, first time and all. of a soldier candidate? So petty. So, does no one live in these buildings? Nope. No one to get mad if we make noise. I'll go first. Yeah. It's pretty old. Be careful. I don't really okay. have, like, a big opinion on Eris yet, because I haven't really uh, seen much of her. Easy now. You worry too much. I'm not some princess who needs to be coddled. Shit. <laughs> wow, she can hold on with one hand? <laughs> Maybe she is pretty yeah. strong. That was unexpected. Thank you, Cloud. Uh, yeah, I don't have like a big opinion of Eris yet because we haven't seen much of her, but I already get this feeling that she's a little less annoying. Like, I liked Eris in the original game, but she did have this little bit of an annoying streak in her. Like, there was some of the dialogue they gave her was she was kind of like pushy and kind of she was always trying to get in Cloud's business kind of thing. And then like Cloud himself got kind of annoying, annoyed by her. Which is why he tries to sneak out. Well, he really tries to sneak out because he doesn't want her to get involved. But she he gets kind of annoyed with her at one point. And like, yeah, she's a bit bratty. But she doesn't... I'm not really seeing that yet. But then again, we haven't seen much. So we'll see. But I feel like they tried to make her a bit more likable. I There's this kind of shift from like... A lot of the unlikable characteristics from the original characters they put into Jesse. Like, Jessie is the catch-all. She's just, like, the the thirsty, slightly annoying character. And everyone else is a lot, lot more likable. <laughs> Not, and I, I do like Jessie, but, like, you know what I mean? Like, all the all the thirstiness of all the other characters went into Jessie, and they just made her, like, the ultimate thirst. And all the other characters are more toned down a bit. Although I will say... She already said, like, one date, so apparently Eris has some thirst in her also, but we'll see where that goes. I, I'm excited to see the um, conversations between Tifa and Eris, because that'll be interesting. That That's really where you get to see a lot of Eris's personality, is when she starts talking to Tifa, and then they start bashing off of each other, because Tifa's like, no, I don't like him, and Eris is like, good, and then Tifa's like, wait, maybe I do like him, and so, like... That relationship will be interesting. I don't, I don't want to say anything for sure because I don't know what the future holds. But in my brain right now, my plan is to do everything there is to do in the game and then create our own fun experiments just like we do in the original game. So that's my thought right now. Whether or not that's a challenge run, a speed run, uh, something else, I don't, like... Uh, you know, who knows, but I have very many, I, I have a lot of plans for this game, that's for sure, unless I for some reason hate it, but I'm 14 hours in and I'm still loving it, so I can't imagine I'm going to suddenly hate it and never want to play it again. Glitch, yeah, it could be, could be no, glitch finding, who knows. I thought about leaving once, but 
In the end, I couldn't. Too dangerous? Too much. <laughs> Yo, Stacks! Thank you so much for the four months, my man. Appreciate it. Good to have you back. I think sometimes, even now, people hate the steel sky, the slums, but I don't. How could I? All that passion, all those dreams, flowing and blending together into something greater. Plans for YouTube? I already have two episodes up. I streamed for 13 and a half hours yesterday, then spent the next two hours editing and uploading two episodes, and then went to bed, woke up, spent an hour with my son for Easter, and now we're back. So, and there'll be more episodes up probably tonight. I want to see the church. It's weird seeing, like... Natural mountains underneath the plate. There's the wall. Can't really see anything past the wall because it's too tall. In the original, the tall didn't seem to be that big. Or, er, the tall. The wall didn't seem to be that big. Um... I think they they raised it a bit so that you can't see outside the tall wall. Got to keep the monsters out even though there's plenty of monsters inside anyways. There's something over there was there. Why is there a opening there? Time I'll go first. After all, I can't count on you to wait. Sure about this? See for yourself. Hmm. Maybe I'll go on ahead and leave you all by your lonesome. Just ah! maybe you shouldn't talk. Then you talk. Tell me a story. Not for free. Cheapskate, you're ah! 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 Oh. Darn, I wanted to push her off. Gotcha. You're killing me here. <laughs> here goes nothing. Woo! Uh. <laughs> okay, that was kind of awesome. Come on, Cloud. Not even a Wii. Couldn't get like a Wii out of him. You good? Of course. Hmm. Bird attack. Compliment? Uh, not really. <laughs> Thanks anyway. Oh my god, that was like straight. That was straight Yuffie move We're right there. getting closer to the station. Even so, we'll probably run into a few monsters on the way. Hmm. Huh. There's a face that screams. So oh, light. the song. I fought scarier things in my sleep. Wait. God. This is so good.
that base. The base is even better. This might be the best remix song. The song during the Airbuster fight, the like more heavy metal remix of the boss music was really, really good. But this might be my favorite so far. Because it really feels like the original. Just boosted. It's like a bass boosted version of the original. This is a banger. Will you be uploading the video with some of your greatest moments? The one you started the show with yesterday. It was awesome and could watch again. Uh, I thought about uploading it to the Patreon. Um, I wasn't going to upload it to the main channel because it doesn't really have any uh, context. But usually when I have something that like people would like to rewatch, but doesn't really make sense to throw on YouTube, I'll throw it on the Patreon instead. So I might do that. I might need to re-edit it though, because I put like a a black screen, like a three song, three second black screen at the beginning. So if I upload it to Patreon, there'll be like three seconds of nothing at the beginning. So I might have to edit it real fast. Bum bum. So I'm supposed to go that way. So you know which way we're going. Going, Cloud. All oh, right. He did quit the girl. She has three materia already. Prayer materia allows you to restore the party's HP with prey. Oh wow, that's a lot like. Uh... Yuna. Final Fantasy X. She has a way to heal without spending MP. Chakra was kind of similar, but it only healed the person that had it. This is a way to heal other people uh, without using MP. So that's kind of cool. Ice Refocus. Allows you to use the Refocus Limit Break. What is that? Guess I'll leave it on for now. Also, you can have this. Actually, you can have this. And uh, this. I love this materia menu. I wasn't sure about it at first, but I really like it a lot. I, lo I love how I can quickly see who has what? Well, that happened to go to this menu. Because, like, this menu's nice. But the issue with this menu is I still need to go over every single materia and see what it is. But from this menu, I can so easily see who has what. And what I have of each thing. And it's just, like, perfect. Um, okay, well, first of all... Guard stick. Happens to be eco friendly. We lost her, boys. <laughs> she has a mithril armlet? Well, pfft. I think Cloud can get that titanium bangle. Oh yeah. Okay, so let's actually look at her stats and see what she's like. So... Oh yeah, big magic. 
even more so than in the original. Also, big squish. Alright, so... This is probably fine. Let's give you a better magic material, though, since you're going to be... Cast some magic on everything. Let's give you... Bolts. Whatever the best bolt material is I have. Cloud. That's fine, I guess. Thing is, though, I guess you don't need this if you have prayer. Because I want to give her magic up. Because that's going to be really good on her. Because it's percentage. 5% boost. And she already has huge magic. She's going to be doing some damage. Now. Lastly. What does the guard stick do? Conjure a ward. Attack spells cast within the ward will automatically be cast twice. Did they make Eris amazing again? I feel like they did. Alright, what do we got? Magic attack power plus 12! Oh, I need that materia slot before I get anything else. Tempest damage? What the heck is Tempest? I don't know what that is. I wonder if that's her... I think that's like her limit? I don't know. Oh nice, it tells me what refocus does. Partition your ATB gauge into three segments, allowing for faster charge accumulation. Huh. That's interesting. I mean, sounds cool, but I'd probably... Well, actually, yeah, it's kind of nice for Eris, because if she gets her limit, but I don't need healing, then she has, like, a backup, you know. That's probably why they gave that to her. Look out, Cloud. Hedgehog pie! Go on. Yeah, no. No, this makes sense, guys. Let's change the name of Guard Scorpion, but Hedgehog Pie, let's keep that. Best do it right. Best name. Ice attack, Travely filler, stagger gauge, knocking them off balance causes them to rampage. Get him! Oh, I forgot the. Someone looks like they're in their element. You're dang right. Don't you forget it. Forgot to give her another materia. I just want to give her something magic related, probably fire. Oh, I agree. Hedgehog Pie is a great name. But every time I think something's great, they change it, so I figured it'd be different. Uh, well, this is <laughs> Are these the same kind kind of rats? Where rat? Yeah. Dude, triple slash. Compared to you? No. Training grounds, barracks, battlefields. 
That's the world I know. <laughs> you sound proud of that. <laughs> Next fight, try out Eris. I went backwards. Hey, Mancer, thanks to the host. Appreciate it. Uh, I can't get back to the church. It wouldn't let me. Coming up on the this guy R6. I could see that. Oh? Thought the world you knew didn't include stations. Ha ha. That voice. Going on? Come on, there's no need to shout. Popular place. Yeah, well, it's got a good view of the reactor. See you, Brown. It's on fire! In a show. They know that. They're worried. Oh, didn't expect to see you here. Huh? Um, yeah. Oh, on your way home from the church? That's. Right. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Did any debris hit the church? Not debris. No. That's something at least. But you may not be so lucky next time. I'm not debris. Hey. You know a way to get topside other than the train? Sorry. I like how Harris talks to everyone. I figured as much. Goddamn pain in the ass. We're very sorry for the delay, but we're doing everything we can to get the trains back up and running. You're not doing nearly enough. Some of us have jobs to get to, you know? You're not doing enough. Kate Sith theme. Yeah, who's Kate Sith? <laughs> What's a cat she? Never heard of it. I just want some mineral water. That's what I'm all about. Sounds like a Star Wars game DLC. Gosh, the smell. Now, would you like a bowl of marsh stew? The perfect blend of sweet and spicy. I'm all set, but thanks for yelling that. What is this guy doing? Uh, hula hoop. Get your slum meatballs right huh? here. Wait. Deck is all clear. Rope's good. Go. Okay, it's not even that oh, far, no. guy. <laughs> yeah, Rude's like, I don't need no rope. Oh man, perk theme. Like root already. Another Turk. 
A real man on a mission. On the hunt, more like. For me? For you? Don't know. Don't care. Then, let's stick to the back streets? Ah. There will be monsters. <laughs> there will be monsters. Better than Shinra. I still absolutely love, like, the the way that Eris and Cloud play off of each other. They took how it works in the first game, in the regular game, and, and accentuated it even more here, and I love it. What's up, Fado? Good to see you. There's a Shinra dump site up ahead. Not the kind of place anyone would ever choose to hang around in. I love dumps. They've got the runner. Just call me. Don't I don't overdo it. I want to whack some people. Powerful offensive and support spells, and is effective in multiple roles. Hold down square to deliver a continuous stream of magic attacks. Wow. So it's my turn. Can I still smack stuff? Oh, I can't smack. See ya. Go on. Oh, I want to whack. Okay, I am, I am, I am stuck. Okay, she is pretty incredible, though. This one's for you. Wow. No telling where they'll come from. Monsters instinctively target weak. Is Eris not broken or what? You'd better watch out then, Cloud. <laughs> Take the lead. Here goes. As Eris, you can hold down triangle to focus your magic energies and release it to unleash Tempest. Okay, that's that's what Tempest is. Powerful magical attack. The potency of Tempest depends on how much magical energy Eris has stored up. Depending on the situation, you may want to store small amounts of energy and release spells in low-powered bursts or bide your time and unleash a particularly particularly devastating blast of magic. Wow. They took, like, the one thing that Eris couldn't do in the original, like, regular attacking, and just made that good, too. So now she's just completely... completely... indestructible. I mean, she's Over still here. squishy. So that's her one downfall. But good lord, she is just gonna be a hammer of damage. I can already tell. We hide back here, secrets. Huh? What's over here? More secrets. I smell secrets. That way is a dead end. I don't give a crap. We were doing some construction, but quit halfway. I see a rocket. Jump on. This song is so good. Well then. Is that it? <laughs> Seems like every time the characters say, like, don't go that way, it makes me think there's going to be something good that way, but they end up actually being right. Every time. Every time I'm like, I'm not going to listen to you. I know how video games work. And then I get there and I'm like, oh, I should have listened. What's up, survivalist? What does squishy mean? Easy to burst. She has low health and low defense, so if something gets on top of her, they can probably kill her before I can heal her. That's what I meant by squishy. That didn't work. Maybe she does have high magic defense, pretty though. Pretty sure this Papyron loops around too, so. I knew it. I saw this gap and I was like, I bet you we can go that way. Hmm. Wonder if we can move this. I can, you can't. Ah, I knew it.
not as HMO4. What the? Deal with that. I'm coming. Bring it. Ow. How long can I charge this? That'll do. Oh, are you kidding me? I like Tempest too much. Holding down square seems to do way better. Soul Drain? That's amazing. Wow, Prey actually takes two ATB. Because they went for the stronger prey. If you guys don't mind, uh, I would appreciate it if you stopped asking why you got timed out. If you got timed out, it's because you broke a rule. It's nothing to take personal, it's just you broke a rule. We're trying to keep this playthrough as blind as possible for me and everyone watching. As soon as we finish the game, you can talk all about everything you want to. What in the world is a Caligenius Cali bracelet? The rules are down below. Right in front of your face. But mostly they're just the general rules of Twitch. Don't backseat, don't tell the streamer what to do, don't spoil things. It's pretty simple, pretty, pretty obvious. The only rule that I have here that's a bit different is we try to keep our stream more PG than most streams because we do more charity work and a couple other reasons. But other than that, it's obvious stuff. Ah, oh, three slots. They really take Materia slots way more... <laughs> way more, like, serious in this game. If you want an extra Materia slot, you're gonna... Something's gonna suffer. Which is good. They kind of realized. Yes, my mods are volunteers. They do not have to do what they do. They do what they do because they love our community. If you have a problem with what my mods are doing, you take it up with me. They're just doing their job. The mods only do exactly what I told them to do, so if you have an issue, it's an issue with me, not with them. Unless it's auto mod. <laughs> real, real talk, I got a message from someone the other day. It was like a seven page spread about how terrible I am and how terrible my mods are and how terrible our whole community is because they got timed out. And it, it wasn't my mods, it was the auto mod. <laughs> it was Twitch's auto mod that, <laughs> that timed him out. And I got like a big seven page spread about, Oh my god, I can't believe you did this, and yeah, the mods, and... And I was just kind of like, it was auto mod, sorry. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I mean, you shouldn't take getting timed out personally anyways. The only piece in the only piece and the only person we ban only people we ban are people that are obvious trolls. So if you get timed out, it's simply because we don't want that message in chat. It has nothing to do with you. Um, but yeah, not only did they take it personally, but it wasn't even us. It was auto mod. It wasn't. <laughs> we didn't there, do it. Check it out. The heart of the slums. So that was pretty funny. <laughs> Of 
fair ways off. How do you get auto modded? Well, we did they said a through. word that auto mod didn't like. Getting tired? No. Me, I'm feeling a bit hungry. How about you? Amazed. Yeah, auto mod is a Twitch You're thing. A treat, and I actually have it set to the have time the that. lightest Still wanna make time requirement. For my mom's cooking. And that's the final word on it. We'll get home quick and eat ourselves stupid. That sounds nice. Um, I have it set to the lowest thing. You can set it to, like, ban everyone, you know, and then, like, there's different tiers. And I have it set to the lowest one, so it really only times out people that are, like, obviously saying something terrible. Um, so, yeah. If you get auto-modded, there's probably a reason. You know, I didn't really take a chance to to look off that cliff because I was talking. Let's go back up. Your auto mod bans someone's name. That's great. Oh, there's not really much to look at. Just garbage. They did say this was a dump. You think they dump from up there? They just like throw it off and it lands down here? Because it doesn't look like you could actually get a truck down there. There's a crane over there. But yeah, like I said, don't take it personally if you get timed out. It's simply because this is going on YouTube and it's a blind playthrough, so anything at all that spoils anything is just timed out until we finish the game and then everyone can talk as much as they want. So, if you get timed out for anything else, it's because it's a normal Twitch rule. But having said that, I would appreciate it if you don't consistently ask over and over again why you got timed out if you got timed out this so is it's my turn? This one's if you have an issue just pm me and let me know i'd be more than happy to talk about it that's it that's that and there goes <laughs> the way they like the way they uh what do you call it i i, I just lost the word uh, I lost the word. Ragdoll, thank you. The way they ragdoll when you kill them is pretty great. Like any enemy really does that. Yo, Napaz, thank you for the host. And also, Dargan, thank you so much for the thousand bits, man. Appreciate it. scary we have to go this way so what's up here someone selling pots maybe a side quest later dude Eris is nuts I don't know what in the world they did they were like okay here's this character with super magic stats but she can't attack Let's give her an incredibly strong attack. <laughs> that she can take advantage of from a safe distance, too. Like, she seems real good. Like, give her barrier and she's going to be unstoppable. It's down here. How do you feel about Materia as a whole in the remake? Do you think it has the potential to be as crazy flexible as in the original? I don't know. The fact that there's no Master Birth, and you can only equip one Summon Materia, makes me feel like there won't be any like super broken stuff. And seeing as though this is only Midgar, I can't imagine we're going to get stuff like Master Materia and stuff too, so... 
I, I don't think there'll be anything that's like mega broken. But I guess we'll see. I don't think you're ever going to hit the qualities of the original game because partly part of the reason why the original game is so much fun to play with Materia is because it's broken and they're obviously not going to break it on purpose. But The Automod won't let you say the artist's name? What artist? Oh, of a song? Okay. <laughs> don't talk about that song then, I guess. I don't know. Cool. What is going on here? This looks cool. The Wu Tai door? Interesting. How do you think the company sells weapons, Knights of the Round, and the like? What? I don't know what you mean by that. Who sells Knights of the Round? Oh, Smogger! I got your number. Hitting it while it is using haywire haze makes it susceptible to staggering. Here goes. Do I have lightning though? I might need to give Eris lightning. Oh, she does it. One more shot. Try to do it when he uses his attack. Get him. Here he comes. Ooh. Oh, silenced me. Can you take My over turn. for a bit? What the? <laughs> okay. Uh, wait, where are we? What happened to the map? Why am I all the way over here? It's over here. Hey, how's it going, Psycho? That door that was stuck. Maybe it opens from this side? Uh, little parting gift. What? What are we fighting? Try to stay behind me. That way, I can cover your back. Dang. Nice triple slash, so strong. It didn't work. We've been boozled. Or maybe... Wait, what? I'm lost. I've got this. Oh my Don't god, we keep getting attacked here. That wasn't so 
bad. Maybe that was this gate. Don't think it'll open. What to do? That gate just doesn't want to open, does it? So Maybe there's a way to get yeah. over it? For you at least. Full game holding up the expectations, definitely. I mean, I don't want to make any overarching judgments because I'm not done with it yet, but I'm definitely enjoying it. How does the combat feel? Feels great. That sucks. Try moving that container to make a path. Um, I like the the combat a lot. Um. I, you know, I'm, what, 15 hours in? Almost, almost exactly, that's funny. Um, 15 hours in, and I'm not bored of it. And they're not exactly adding too much more to it. Other than Eris being a thing. And uh, I'm still really liking it, so. I feel like that's a win. Most combat, I will get bored of within a couple hours, if... It's not at least adding new gimmicks or something, you know? Unless it's a really fun yeah, combat system. Do the trick. Um, but yeah. yeah, I mean, it's still really fun. <laughs> I'm only here for two things. Demon House and this guy are sick. Thanks, Cloud. I knew you'd find a way. To be honest, I feel like that's a really silly question. Why why would they add weapons? That that makes no sense. That's not even like First of all, they'd be giving up what they could add in in future games. Second of all, it doesn't fit the story at all. Because they couldn't be here yet. So that'd be pretty silly. I don't want to know how to open this gate. I don't know. I don't know if I'm missing something or. Hmm. I feel like it comes up later because I'm not seeing anything else. Throw Eris at it. Yes, we're home free. That'll work. No need for thanks. I'd rather get paid. Hmm? You're getting paid right now. Hmm? Huh? With what? Your looks? This door is locked too. I'm wondering if this is finally going to get us to a place where we have more side quests in, like, another hub. It, it's crazy how long it's been since we've, like, been to a hub. You know what I mean? Like, Chapter 3, they were like, here's your apartment. This is going to be the place where you sleep, and this is going to be your hub to come back to after every mission. And then now we're in Chapter, like, 9, and we haven't seen it <laughs> in years. And my battle intel has been done for, like, five chapters. Pretty, it's pretty weird. It's good though, because I mean that's that follows the story. If we somehow got back to Sector Seven, that wouldn't be following the story. So definitely not a complaint. It's just funny. 
should be able to relax. Funny that they set it up as like a, a hub and then they're like, okay, you're never gonna see this place again. Good come at us any time. Keep an eye out. Just want to go to bed. Oh man, this is this is great. It's funny that like all this is is a building with some pipes and it still really reminds me of exactly how Sector 5 looks. And then that is probably the way to wall market. Oh, this is no, this is just a big circle. Okay. Why? That's the station. Oh, cuz she won't let me, that's why. We had to go around the back way because of Ruth. That's right. Just want to go to bed. How do you feel about the time that it has taken to remake part of 7? Do you think it's a bad sign for future games in the series to release like 7 remake or a good thing? Well, I mean, that's an odd question cuz this game was not released like a normal game. <laughs> the first time they talked about releasing this game was 18 years ago. Uh, and but they only really worked on it the last few years and they also put it down for Kingdom Hearts 3 as well so there really is no telling how much time this game really did take to make because it was such a weird scenario do you think this is a great blend of turn-based action and action it's not really a blend it's just action but as I said before this is as close to turn-based as you can possibly get while still being action because everything's tactical. There's no really dodging damage or pressing the button at the right time to counter or some stuff like that. It's very, very wait and do things at certain times. It's it's very tactical and much like a turn based RPG. It's just not turn based. Come on, Cloud. This way. Bro, I turned around for like two seconds. Calm it. I want explore, please. I'm standing inside the gutted shell of Mako Reactor Five. They're working for Wu Tai, isn't it obvious? There's still a lot of smoke rising from the rubble. Spies, so they don't have to break While fallen beams and other debris I'm continue to hinder those rescue poor efforts, devils the fires are appear to have been war. mostly extinguished. So if we help catch the bombers, oh, we get a reward or something. Uh, that's the director of Shinra's Advanced Weaponry Division, hey, isn't it? Oh, there she is. Excuse me, ma'am, but would you mind answering a few questions? They're targeting reactors. Uh, can you no give us any updates on the status of the reactor? What so kind of damage are the trains going to start up again? Are we in any danger? Uh, Mako Reactor 5 has been temporarily shut down and all fires have been successfully extinguished. The situation is under control and the people of our fair city need not worry about any additional complications. We're in the process of conducting a full forensic investigation, but we suspect the device used was similar to that employed in the attack on Mako Reactor 1. The perpetrators of that atrocity were filmed making their escape. How did she he press a button and make his camera change? What? Are currently believed to be in hiding somewhere in Midgar. <laughs> and uh, that's some technology. That group has now attacked two reactors in quick succession. Can they really be stopped before they strike again? What do you think? Uh, well, uh... <laughs> have no fear. Shinra will keep Midgar safe. Okay, time's up. Give me a kahaha. All right, let's go. I have to. I'm prepared to fight again. <laughs> That's some good PR. You need to start preparing for the worst. She's gonna be like, not that way, clown. Hey, my house is this way. Okay, it's not like oh, shit. Oh, what timing! Mind lending me a hand? Place is really hopping, huh? Nice side effect of the train situation. So, what do you say? I'd love to. Diner Dash. Diner Dash mini game. Oh, that's it. You're just gonna say I'd love to, but, and then that's. I help out every now and then. It's fun. Eris. Well, well. What are you doing all the way up there? Was trying to get a look at the reactor. Who's this guy? This is Cloud. He's a mercenary. And currently my bodyguard. That's Oats. Your name is Oats? See you. 
I love how popular Eris is. Peas in a pod. It's a cool touch. I mean, they kind of hint at it in the original game, too, but... They're giving it more flair now. So, what are you guys up to? We all want to see the reaction. Especially with the kids. Oh, that's right. You're supposed to come by the house. <laughs> He's a nerd. Uh, what for? I don't know. You're just supposed to. Well, guess we have a new destination. I should probably explain. Oh. The Leaf House is the local orphanage. That's where all these kids live. Hey, Aerith, where'd you go? The church again? Next time, we should all go together. You should not. There's monsters. Why, hello, Aerith. As popular as ever, I see. Apparently, this guy's got some sure pipe. Me on my toes. <laughs> uh, better than being bedridden. Thanks again for all those herbs. You've helped a lot of people. No problem. Anytime. How'd you manage oh. to find so many anyway? <laughs> oh, I have my ways. And him? He's my bodyguard. Just until I get home. And you're sure he's up to it? Hmm. Bro, what? Maybe. What is she gonna get attacked by? We're in the town. Since I'm so generous, I gather medicinal herbs for his patients sometimes. Oh, look at that mug. Here's the leaf house. I want to grow up and be just like Jesse. Someone told me that Jesse would help them grow How do you? Okay. There you are. We're back, and we brought Aerith with us. Sorry to make you come out here. Oh, nice stamp Happy. dress. It's on my way home. Well then, I hope you won't mind me asking for some flowers. No problem. How many? All you can carry. What with all the doom and gloom we've been hearing on the news recently, I thought some flowers might help cheer everyone up. I'm sure they will, and I'd love to help. Let's all wash up before our meal. I like the mug. <laughs> 